So three, two. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm hooked in my finger. Oh, what a mess. Uh, I'm really excited because we're going to go use these bluegill for catfish bait tonight and uh, hopefully try and get a couple more flathead catfish. Now that is a catfish, man. I'm gonna go ahead and ride it. The dorsal fin down. smokes <gasps> he got it yeah <laughs> okay we got to rebate him again going pretty good in there tonight's gonna be fun catfishing taking our dunking big rig right here babe you mind grabbing me out a uh, little piece of bait Oh, up, little bluegills. All right, who's gonna be fish number one? What I've been doing is I'm hooking them through the back. Just like that. All right, little buddy. There's a deep pocket right in here. There's a little shallow rock edge right here. And then as you come in, it gets all shallow right up in here, but then there's a little ledge. I just hit bottom now. It's about 20 feet. And then um, it stays 20 feet around the other side of this cove and it gets real shallow. So it's like a, a little bowl right here. Hopefully this will turn into a catfish or a striper or anything. Yeah, Danielle's hooked into her first catfish ever. <laughs> there you go. Slow little lifts. There you go. Always keep that pressure. That's a good one, babe. Oh! Oh, look at that cat. Sweet. Stop reeling and then put your rod tip towards me. <laughs> That's a good one. He's not ready to come in yet. <laughs> well, it's a channel cat. And a corner of the mouth. That <laughs> is a solid catfish.
Flathead catfish right there. That one's about five pounds. Might have to do a catch and cook right here with this flathead. See if we can get that bluegill back. <laughs> yeah. You want to grab the pliers? <laughs> now that is a catfish, man. Look at he has like he got cut on his back. Probably when he was rolling up rocks. Who's that? Who's at least 12 pounds. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep one and it's in the live well. It's the smaller of all of these, but I'll slowly kind of release these out. This one's about eight pounds. Here's another one. 
another six pounder. Look at the colors on that one. Look at the look at those spots. The bronze. So beautiful. Oh, you want to check it out? <laughs> All right, off you go. Last and not very least is big one. My biggest catfish. This is it right here. I, <laughs> biggest catfish I've ever caught. You guys saw me catch that catfish. Now it's time to clean it and then cook it. There it is right here. About a, I would say about a five pound flathead catfish. There's your rigor mortis out. Get my fillet knife. They have these two big bones that kind of lead right out the back of their temple. So I'm gonna start there and cut in towards the middle. Just like so. And then just like any other fish, I'm gonna go ahead and ride the dorsal fin down. So making an incision on the top side. stay on that same cut line. I try not to make multiple cuts whenever I'm playing any kind of fish. And uh, when I mean my multiple cuts, it's like constantly just chopping at the meat. So what I use is I use my other hand and I'll spread the meat open and I'll uh, follow, follow all the bones. And um, this one I actually, I'm not gonna cut through the rib cage like I do on other fish. I'm actually stopping at the rib cage and then I'm gonna cut down and around it. one side of it because uh, this is not done yet. We still got to do a little bit more processing from this since uh, catfish do take a little bit more preparation than uh, let's say ocean fish where you can just like take a, a filet, you just cut off the back of a, a mahi-mahi or something like that put it straight on the on the grill. You do that with a catfish and you'll do and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Or should I unpleasantly surprised? Since there's so much gamey fishy flavor in a catfish, in the fat and in the skin, because there's all this kind of red meat that if you don't process it out correctly, you're in for a treat later on. And when I mean treat, you'll probably never want to eat catfish again. 
following what I did the other one. Found the rib cage right there. Small, small cuts. Up and around that rib cage. There we go, we got fillet one and fillet two. All right, the next section right here is the belly meat. So I'm gonna cut behind. Up and through. All that belly meat. Which is right here. There you have it. So here's the belly meat. And uh, there you go. There you go, all the guts are still intact and the catfish, two fillets are out. Belly meat, two fillets. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I will use some magic because we can edit, right? All right, everything's cleaned off. All right, the next step now is to take off the skin. So I'm gonna process this into a second section right here, which is just the tail. So, so the way I take off the skin, I'll cut halfway down right there, all the way to the skin. And I'll turn my knife at an angle like this. And then slowly working my way off. That red line is not tasty. All that pink meat is no good. So what you want, basically at the end of your, when you're done processing everything, is just white filet. So I'm gonna cut out that middle bloodline. Any type of like excess fat, so you see a little bit of this this fat right there, I'm gonna chop that off. So it is just purely a white catfish filet. Again, cutting down to the skin, turning my knife at an angle, and then just running it up and through. So that skin, done. So, you got a nice old big chunk of catfish meat right there. I'm gonna trim the edges. That's looking tasty right there. So, cause I'm gonna do a deep fry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like split this in half. For better, bigger, friable pieces. Those look good right there. So, same thing, got my tail section right here. Cut down to the, to the skin at an angle. And see this one I went a little too deep. You can see all that pink meat right there. That pink meat is not, not des de desirable nor flavorful. So I'm gonna trim out this middle bloodline. This is a layer of fat on the side. I'm gonna trim out that fat. So once I have that, the pink side down, I'm just gonna run my knife using the pressure on my other hand. That way I can remove 
that pink meat. Again, removing some more pink meat. And there you go, another piece of white meat. Here's that other side, got a little bit of that fat on there. Trim off all that excess fat. I'm gonna trim the edge. And then you have all that pink meat right there. I'm just gonna go ahead. Trim that section of pink meat off. Alright, I've got one more segment to go, which is that belly meat. This is the only type of fish that I actually cut out belly meat like this. Otherwise, I'll just fillet it normally, but uh, this catfish is something else. So I'm going to go down the middle, as I did with those other fillets. I'm going to turn my knife at an angle and go parallel with the skin. Removing all that, all that, uh, all that skin right there. So then you're left with the inside lining. This is the inside gut lining right here. You do not want to eat that either. So the way I'm going to process that off is the exact same way that I did the skin side. So I'm going to cut down to the middle. Turn my knife at an angle, and you'll notice all that shiny stuff is completely gone, just white meat. It's left right here. So I'm gonna repeat on this side. A little bit of excess trim. So that's one side down of the belly. I'm gonna come over to this other side the exact same thing. So cut all the way down to the skin, turn my knife at an angle, and then work the fillet over like so. So you got that lining, all white meat on the other side. All white belly meat on one side. stuff. So unlike saltwater fish, I actually soak these fillets in fresh water. And what that does is that helps remove the blood from the meat. Ideally you kind of, you want to make ice cold water uh, and if not you can actually do a bowl of uh, fresh water, put your meat in and then put it in the refrigerator for 12 hours and um, you'll, you'll notice the color of the meat uh, and the color of the water when you're done with it. But just by giving these guys a light rinse, you can already tell a color difference in that water from all that blood coming out. Here's our catfish fillets. They've been chilling out in some nice ice cold water. I'm gonna show you guys the mix that I use to batter these guys. So the first thing that I use right here, and all this is is a mixture of one to one corn flour and cornmeal. And uh, that's about a cup right there, all depending on the amount of fish you have. This is a, a, like a heavier, like a heavier cut of a uh, cornmeal right here. That's about, I would say two tablespoons. There's a, a little bit of Lowry's uh, seafood seasoning and a little bit of Cajun spice. And that's just for a little bit of heat. And that, last but not least, a little bit of salt. So once I get that all in there, mix it up real good. All right, so there's our batter mix. So the next step is drying catfish fillets. So I'm gonna take out a few fillets. I'm not gonna do a lot because I'm just gonna eat a couple for lunch. 
and uh, let's do I'll do three pieces. I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge. All right, so I'm using paper towels, and I'm gonna just pat down these fillets right here. And right behind me, I have my oil heating up, and uh, all it is is canola oil. So after I, uh, I'm gonna dry up these guys right here. Dry up these fillets. They're looking pretty dry. Pretty dry. Okay. So I got my dry fillets. And I'm gonna lay them in the batter mix. Coat them up. Shaking them out. All right, we've got our battered catfish right here. We've got the oils ready to go. So a little trick right here, testing the oil. Yep, that guy is ready to go. All right, he's got the catfish right here, and I'm gonna just slowly lay them in, and I always lay them in away from me. Avoid burning yourself. So I'm gonna set a little timer. I'm gonna do, I'll do three minutes on each side since they're fairly thin fillets. Okay guys, well, moment of truth. Here we go. Fresh, fried, flathead catfish. Put some, uh, some lemon juice on there. Some tartar sauce. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Oh my gosh, my, my mouth is watering. Oh. If you guys enjoy that video, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Comment if you guys have any cool catfish uh, recipes that you'd like to share with me. And uh, also let me know if you tried it out and tell me what you think. I uh, would love to hear what you guys thought about this recipe. But until the next time, you guys keep a tight line and I'll see you out in the water. Aloha. That was awesome.